iOS 26 is being released on its first beta very, very soon. It's actually six days from today where we will get the first beta of iOS 26 and it will of course be a big update. We know everything will be redesigned, we're getting a totally new UI, new features and all that stuff and it should be the biggest update since iOS 7. That's why a ton of people will want to install this beta on day one. And now that Apple has made it actually very easy to install it, a lot of people will jump on this beta. Well, should you actually install it or just wait for the public beta? In this video, I will show you guys the main differences that you will see between these two betas and to which one you should actually update. So of course, updating will be very simple. What you will get is a simple update section right here. Go to the general settings, under software update, right here under the beta updates, you will get the dev beta for iOS 26. This will be initially only on the dev beta because you will have to wait for a few days to actually install or be better say weeks to install the public beta. So you won't be getting the public beta on June 9th, just the dev one. But that will of course be the beta that will actually have way more bugs and it will have way worse battery life. So that's why I suggest you actually wait a bit. So here's what to expect from this update once it gets released. Now in my experience installing betas since like 10 years or 11 years from now, initial betas tend to have more glitches, they will freeze, they will reboot, of course, the battery life will be horrible. And that's why I suggest that if you only have one device that's used as a main device, I suggest that you don't initially jump on the first dev beta of iOS 26. It's actually kind of hard not saying 19 and saying 26. It's actually quite a big change. But here are a few things that you should keep in mind if you just actually want to install this beta. First of all, make sure that you have actually backed up your device because a lot of times when installing these betas, it might happen that the device will go into a boot loop or something like that and you might lose all of your data. So that's why I suggest you always make sure you have a backup of your device before trying to install a first dev beta like this one. Now in the best case scenario, if you have just one device, you can just move on and just wait for the public beta. Or if you have a second device that you don't use daily, then you can just go ahead and install the first dev beta on that device and try out, of course, all the cool new features. Now, as far as the public beta goes, you will have to actually wait a bit for that. Now, usually what Apple will do is that they will release the first public beta somewhere here around the middle of July. Like last year, it was July 17th. Previous year, iOS 17 public beta was July 15th. So this year, I would expect it to be somewhere here, either the 14th or the 21st of July, but most likely it will be the 14th. Now with this beta, of course, once Apple releases it, it will be stable enough for everyone to actually install it and use it on their device. Now this, by this time, of course, you will have better knowledge of this update. You will know of course, if it has any like big bugs that haven't been solved yet, but also you will all get more features than on the first dev beta as before re releasing the first pub public beta, we also get another beta or another two betas of iOS 26, which means that more features will be added. So if you have just one device, use it daily. I would suggest that you wait for the public beta. That's the best thing you can do for your device in order to get the best experience using the new iOS 26. But of course, a lot of people will not be able to wait and will try to install iOS 26 beta one on their device. And of course, you can go ahead, try it out. Apple has promised that there will be way more work on stability and it won't be as buggy as previous beta. So let's wait and see. But at least wait for a few days, watch some reviews and see what people are saying about this update before you install it on your device. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.